Now all technical issues have been solved and you have been able to hear the prelude. Welcome to the Church of the Redeemer, both in person and on Zoom. My name is Haltor and I'm the pastor here at this church. I'm honored to be worshiping with you today. Thomas is our tech person, Chanel is our music director, and James Graham is our liturgist today. After worship, you can say hi to the Zoom participants on the TV in the back before heading out to Cumberland Park here in Cleveland Heights, where we are having our annual Edger Green family picnic. If you noticed, few men leave the worship early. They have already promised me that it's not due to anything that I said. <laughs> They're just going ahead of the rest of us to fire up the grill. If you need a ride to Cumberland Park, don't hesitate to ask the person next to you or someone that you see around. Uh, in your bulletin, we have added asterisks for those segments of the worship where we invite you to stand if you are willing and or able. Please join James Graham in a call to worship. morning, Church of the Redeemer. Please stand as you're able for the call to worship. Creator God, you call us to hospitality, to give as generously to others as you have given to us. For there are angels among us. Loving God, you call us to give your glory in the compassion we show to one another, to love without judgment of ourselves or of others. We gather as one body, seeking to walk in the way you have set for us. We gather as one body to worship the one who is loved. And now let us continue together with the opening prayer. Hospitable God, you invite us to a banquet where the last may be first and the humble and the mighty trade places. Let us share your abundance with no fear of scarcity. Let us greet strangers as angels you have sent. Send your spirit now so that we may find a place at your table and welcome others with radical hospitality. In the, In the name, name of Jesus, Jesus. guest yes. at all our tables, we pray. Amen. And now the opening hymn in the uh, red hymnal, number 585.
The epistle this morning comes from Hebrews chapter 13, verses 1 through 8 and 15 through 16. Let mutual love continue. Do not neglect to show hospitality to strangers, for by doing that some have entertained angels without knowing it. Remember those who are in prison, as though you were in prison with them, those who are being tortured, as though you yourself were being tortured. Let marriage be held in honor by all, and let the marriage bed be kept undefiled. For God will judge forni fornicators and adulterers. Keep your lives free from the love of money, and be content with what you have. For he has said, I will never leave you or forsake you. So we can say with confidence, the Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. What can anyone do to me? Remember your leaders, those who spoke the word of God to you. Consider the outcome of their way of life and intimate, imitate them, their faith. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. Through him, then, let us continually offer a sacrifice of praise to God that is, the fruits of lips that confess his name. Do not neglect to do good and to share what you have, for such sacrifices are pleasing to God. Word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. And now we pray the prayer of confession and hear the words of assurance. O oh God, you gave us the Garden of Eden, and we choose to wander in deserts of our own making. You gave us the light of the world, and we choose to do our night crawling. Forgive us our squandering, our wandering, our lack of commitment. Forget not your covenant with us, O God, and give us second chances that we might all be one in your kingdom. Amen. God is gracious and loving God who forgives our sins. By God's grace, we are forgiven. Amen. Amen. And now, before we continue, there is in my bulletin is children's message. So I'm going to give the children's message, and it's slightly different than you're used to. And that concludes the children's message. <laughs> and now we have the hymn of preparation. Jesus loves me, this I know. Number 191 in the United Methodist Hymnal.
The gospel lesson this morning is from Luke chapter 14, verses 1 and 7 through 14. On one occasion, when Jesus was going to the house of a leader of the Pharisees to eat a meal on the Sabbath, they were watching him closely. When he noticed how the guests chose the places of honor, he told them a parable. When you are invited by someone to a wedding banquet, do not sit down at the place of honor. In case someone more distinguished than you has been invited by your host, and the host who invited both of you may come and say to you, give this person your place. And then in disgrace, you would start to take the lowest place. But when you are invited, go and sit at the lowest place, so that when your host comes, he may say to you, friend, move up higher. Then you will be honored in the presence of all who sit at the table with you. For all who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. He said also to the one who had invited him, when you give a luncheon or a dinner, do not invite your friends or your brothers or your relatives or rich neighbors in case they may invite you in return and you would be repaid. But when you give a banquet, invite the poor, the crippled, the lame, and the blind, and you will be blessed because they cannot repay you, for you will be repaid at the resurrection of the righteous. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Respect others, honor others, treat others with dignity and love, show hospitality to strangers, entertain angels. Remember to love what matters, Share, care, and be content. Know that God will never leave or forsake us. Know that Lord is my helper, our helper. The text in the letter to the Hebrews is beautiful, important, and impactful. Allow me to pray. Guide our thoughts, O God. Lead our imagination. Amen. In my circles, the people that I hang around with, it is often assumed and even claimed that respect and honor are things we can't demand from others, at least not anymore. In the past, doctors, pastors, priests, teachers, the police and military personnel, sometimes politicians, might have been able to demand respect and even honor in the name of their prestige or social status. But that time is gone, according to those that I hang out with. There are few important but kind of cute leftovers of this. Children and youth are expected to address their teachers in a formal way. I can still try to use my card as a reverend and my caller, and it kind of works from time to time. Doctors play this card as well, but it doesn't work everywhere anymore. I have read interesting studies looking at how implied authority and demanded respect towards pastors and priests has changed. And depending on who is writing, whose fault or blessing that is. I assume similar studies have been done about teachers and doctors and the police and the military and everyone else that in the past thought they could demand respect and honor. Again, it is often claimed in my circles that the days when respect and honor can be claimed but not earned are gone. But here is today's twist. Jesus in the gospel invites us to give respect and honor to others. 
Yes, respect and honor can't be claimed. It can perhaps be earned. But surely, respect and honor can be given. So now, because I want to do something different today, I want you to look at the end of your pews, and there you will see paper and crayon, crayons. And I want you to write up those that you give or ought to give respect and honor without having them earn it from you first. Write few of those people down. I'm going to give you two to four minutes for this assignment, and you can feel like you're back in school. While you think, draw, and write, Chanel will play some beautiful music for two to four minutes. This is not the only assignment today. So, if anyone, is anyone that wants to share with us, you're not forced to. Yeah? Thank you so much. Thank you so much, because what I was going to say here next was, yes, the answer is all. This was kind of a tricky question. <laughs> so thank you so much for, for getting that. And everyone that you wrote down is the right answer, because everyone deserves our respect. Which bring, brings us to another side of this. Jesus talks about humbleness in today's text. He praises those that don't demand their place or claim their honor. Honor, status, respect is for others to give. It is not ours to demand or claim. It is a gift that keeps on giving. And here I could actually go, and I would do that some Sundays, go off on tangent about people that demand respect and think they can buy honor and status. But let's not do that today. And then we have, again, the Hebrew scripture. Do not neglect to show hospitality to strangers, for by doing that, some have entertained angels without knowing it. I like to imagine when I read this, some happy angels looking down on earth, all excited. Did you see what Connie did? Look at March and David and Caroline, all of the Carolines in Church of the Redeemer. <laughs> Look at those people. This Luke 311 project calls for a dance party up here. 
the angels could claim. Which brings us to our second project today. On the other side of your paper, write or draw, draw about when you entertained an angel by showing hospitality to strangers. You don't have to write whole sentences, just few words that remind you about that event. If you feel that it's too hard, you can also think about when a stranger made angel stands by showing hospitality to you. I'm going to give you two to four minutes to think about an event like that. Write some words or draw a, fo draw a picture and think about this time where either you entertained an angel or someone entertained an angel by showing you love. And while you think and draw, Chanel will play some beautiful music. And now I'm back to the children's message. <laughs> And Jesus in today's gospel is not looking for those that automatically get respect and honor in the name of status role or for historical reasons. Jesus is looking for those of us that make angel stands. So when we leave here today, Let's go and create an angelic dance party in heaven by showing hospitality to strangers, knowing that we are loved. Amen. The prayer hymn is, I've, I have God peace, I've got peace like a river in the smaller hymnal, number 2145.
Let's pray. Creator God, we are gathered to worship you, to hear your word and share with one another your grace. Hear us, God, as we sing. Be with us as we reflect. Be gracious to us as our mind wander. God of all, lead us as your church. Guide us as your people. Enlighten us about your plan for our future. God of care, today we bring our concerns for our friends, for our family, in a short moment of silence. God who loves, remind us to show all we meet grace, respect, and love. God of grace, be with us, help us to see your beauty, allow us to see glimpses of your kingdom break into our mundane world. Help us to reflect on your will. Be here, God, as we pray the prayer your son taught us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. And now is the time in worship where we, where traditionally we would have taken tiles and offerings, but as you leave the church later on, there is a box in the back where you can give your tiles and offerings, but we still listen to the offertory as we reflect on our giving. <laughs> Let's pray the prayer of dedication. All things come from you, O God. All that we are and all that we have is a trust from you. 
And so, in gratitude for all that you have done, we offer ourselves and all that we have in union with Christ's offering for us. Amen. The closing hymn is We Are Marching. Uh, in the smaller hymnal, 2235B. receive God's benediction. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make their face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn their face toward you and give you peace. Amen. <laughs>